Have you ever heard of a slaughter? I oughta start dipping Sipping on that ST gets me to tripping I don't slip, I bangs With that mad ass dog pound gang It's a DPG thing Corrupt from the SC You wanna test When you gonna put me up on one of your videos or something? You know I can still get in, check this out Welcome back to another episode of Rose and Gold I'm your host, International King And this is my lovely co-host, Dr. Ross Well, one, what do say? Exactly. Let's get into our hot topics for today. Starting it off with Amber Heard is seeing her new movie get horrendous reviews. Well, congratulations for Miss Amber Heard. But IK and I are always available, and we'll be in the next movie. See you. See you in the And Miss and Miss Amber Heard, we hear that you're getting horrendous reviews. We don't know what movie this is for. We'll have to check it out soon. But exactly. You're obviously doing something wrong or something right because you don't know. With people like. For example, or maybe I, the people are jealous because they're sitting at home broken and not getting their bag. So keep hating players. That's a good point, Dr. Ross. Let's get into our next hot topic for today. With J Lo beats the heat in trendy thong sandals and a gauzy shirt dress. When is the time when J Lo is not running the streets? But we're gonna make this a thumbs down because, like and, I said, J Lo is always running the streets. And Dr. Ross, I have to say, in this photo right here, I don't see Ben Affleck. Now, I'm not saying... Because they were never together, that's the point. Exactly. But this could be confirming that Benifer was never actually a thing, and she exactly. was there just to get her paper up. Basically, she was, what it looks like is she was running from each ex just to make A-Rod feel some type of way, and obviously it's working because nobody's giving him any type of play. You're Speaking right, of scandalous, she went, with, she went with Mark, then she went to Ben. Ben was probably just the one to put exactly. the nail in the cup. And then she went to a sweet sugar roll puffy, so... We know that's a lie, and we know she's just trying to hurt A-Rod's feelings. A-Rod, you need information from IK. You need the international book right now. That's right. Because I don't know what to say. It's looking bad. But for J-Lo, thumbs down. Let's get to our next hot topic for today. So Harry Styles and Megan. What did you just say? They're saying, not Harry Styles, but Prince Harry and Meghan, they're announcing that they're going to have another baby coming up on the way. What are your thoughts, IK? I actually just saw that pop up in the news, and wow. Mm. Meghan's trying to get her back, and you know, we can't hate her because Meghan Fox, not Meghan Fox, Meghan Markle, she was one of our She's Hot winners, and we're proud of her because she's getting her bag, and she's stealing it from sap suckers. So if Harry wants to be a loser and get his money taken... Go right ahead. Prince Harry is just, he's leaving the money wide open. The bill, exactly. the trillions of dollars. Every single day, there's another sucker born. Exactly. There's a sucker born every day. But Prince Harry, Dr. Ross and I wouldn't mind taking a slice of the pie. Just a right. small crumb off the cake. Let's get to our next hot topic for today with Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade give Zaya an epic birthday bash. I have no comment on this. This is a thumbs down. Gabrielle Union is going to keep being ratchet, and that's all I have to say. Where are we going? To sleep. Sleep? What, what's all the time that's on? No, nigga, we going to sleep. Meet us on the block. Hurry up. All right, but are you, are you not completing your sentence? Like, are you saying we about to go put some niggas to sleep? What? No, I, I got jumped in my dream, bro. We want to speak on new TV shows releasing with one coming up called Small Fortune. Now, Dr. Ross and I, we're personally going to be tuning into this one. Exactly. We hear that it was originally or originated from a British show that I used to watch, and I can't wait for it. Interesting. Interesting. You might see IK and I on there next. So stay tuned on your TV and check out for that. Yeah. Ooh, I like your cut, G. Towery, you know who contact. Contact the King and Dr. Ross. Well, let's get into our next hot topic with another film that recently released, Cruella. Now, we saw this for the first time a few days ago, and Cruella was phenomenal. We, Cruella DeVille. Exactly. Or it's actually devil, but it's spelled DeVille. DeVille, exactly. And it's actually based off of the cartoon 101 Dalmatians that was originally played by Glenn Close. And now it's played by Emma Stone. So, and Glenn Close actually produced the film. So, what are your thoughts, IK? Glenn Close, she produced the film and she did a perfect job on directing and producing this film. Because exactly. This, I know we watched The Quiet Place. I don't know if we've talked about that yet on Rose and Gold, but A Quiet Place was a really good movie. But Cruella beat this one and blew it out of the water. Exactly. The main part that I was watching for Cruella was really the costumes and designs. You see, IK and I were all about the costumes and all about the show and the presentation. All about so the really style and the funk. Exactly. And the mother, the real mother, 
not to spoil it out there for anybody who hasn't watched it, but the real mother, her acting was superb. So I can and I might be in the next one. So and stay not, tuned for the next one. It's not going to be a might. We are going to be in the next exactly. one. Exactly. So, and Con Miss Emma Stone, we know that you were in the film as the main Cruella DeVille. It would have been better as Angelina Jolie, but you know that Disney's not trying to lose any more money. Exactly, especially because... after Angelina Jolie. Now, Angelina and Jolie is just too crazy for their type of thing, but we yeah. love you, Angelina. And it's not even the crazy part, it's just that Angelina Jolie wants 90% of the film's earnings. That's true. We might have to put her in one of our films, Dr. Ross. Let's exactly. get into our next hot topic with Ellen's sidekick, Steven Twitch Boss, speaks about the show ending. Twitch needs to go home because I'm tired of seeing Twitch every single morning, twitching on the stage and <laughs> dancing, and Ellen, it's a thumbs down. We're done but, talking about your show leaving. We loved you when you were there. And you know why it's leaving, Dr. Ross? Because we're taking their spot. Because, exactly. Let's get to our next hot topic. Our next hot topic is with Gabrielle Union's daughter's playhouse is honestly a tiny house goals. First of all, thumbs down. Thumbs Gabrielle down. We don't Union, care about this. What happened to the scandalousness? Exactly. We know that you made a new book called Shady Baby. Nobody cares. Let's get to our next hot topic. I do want to talk about the new movie. Since we're on the topic of movies, I want to talk about the new movie coming out, um, The Conjuring 3. It's already out, but I just want to take a second. We, um, I.K. and I were watching Kelly Ripa's show, and she's amazing, but Kelly Ripa was talking to the guy who was going to be in The Conjuring, and yes. what was with his attitude the whole time? Uh, yeah. She asked him, what's the film about? He said, why don't you watch it? And then, he, and then Kelly Ripa said, I might, I might not have to watch this movie. It seems a bit too scary for me. He said, it's a horror film. They kicked him exactly. right off the show after that. We'll put Good. the clip in right he here. They cut to ad break and he was gone. But as an actor, you should know when you come on to talk shows, I can and I know that you know, you're signed to a contract. You can't speak much about the film. But that doesn't mean that you have to give them an attitude. Don't show up to the talk show at all. Step away from the movie, say that you're just going to be some sugar honey bun sitting on the couch eating popcorn. So. Exactly, because you still want to talk good about the film. You don't want to spoil too much, exactly. but you want to say things like the film was great to be on. We knew it's a horror film, so we were, some people might take that a different way. But you want to say it was a great film to work on. I loved the entire cast and me working on the show. It was such a pleasure to be there. But and that's I.K. Like coming to you guys. Don't go over there saying it's a horror movie, because then... You're making people not want to watch it because they know it's a horror movie. Obviously. But we're going to stop ranting and get into our next hot topic. So Bella, Ad Bella Hadid exposed her underwear in a very 90s tracksuit. So she had the whole tracksuit, a bralette, and her underwear showing. What are your thoughts, I.K.? Scandalous. That's we right. Have you ever next She's Hot Women? Might be. Stay tuned. Put your votes in for the She's Hot contest. Our recent She's Hot winner actually was Miss Jessica Alba. So congratulations to her once again. But put in your votes because it's flooding up our DMs. We'll get soon to that. Exactly. Millions of votes coming in every single day. So make sure to put your put your votes in the battle box. Let's get into our next and final hot topic for today. With Beyonce stunned in a corset leather mini dress with Jay Z during NBA date night. You know what? I'm tired of Beyonce. I heard that Beyonce and Jay Z just bought um, this blue Rolls Royce, and it looks ugly now that you guys are sitting in it. And Not that we hate you guys, but they probably bought the blue Rolls Royce to say, "Oh yeah, this is blues car." Blues exactly. brought the car with all the. That's another thing. Million. I'm tired of Blue Ivy. No hate because. I haven't met Blue Ivy personally, maybe she's a wonderful little girl, but they're making her head fill up to the clouds. Why is she using the Grammys cup as a sippy cup? And she doesn't work hard for that cup at all. I hate to say it, Dr. Ross, but with that Grammys cup and all that, that's probably just Jay-Z trying to flaunt, because I'm betting you right after that, she said, where's my new dollhouse? Or where's my new roses? That's you, true. You know that Blue is like that. And she looks like a bitter... Exactly. Have you guys seen the live? We're going to put it in right now, but have you guys seen the live where Blue Ivy was hitting Beyonce's face while she was trying to speak nice to her? That's what you guys have created. A monster. And you know what it is? Beyonce's a monster too, so it's, it's going right off to offspring. Like mother, like daughter. But one thing I'm going to say about this, I'm going to show you guys this photo right here. Wow. First of all, Jay-Z. Jay Zizla, you looking bad. And Beyonce over there, you're wearing a corset, but you're hiding behind Jay-Z. I don't even Sad know times. how they, I don't even know how they recognize that you had a corset on in this. Wearing well, a whole blanket and hiding behind Jason like this. Let's get on to our, our let's close it off by K because you know, the Muppets, I'm tired of talking about them. <laughs> exactly. 
These were all of our hot topics for today. But for Kylie Jenner, that's for you. We'll see you in LA, baby. Or that's right. the king especially. We'll see you in the next episode. But to everyone out there, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and, and hit the notification bell. Exactly. And don't forget to put in your votes for the next She's Hot Contest because it will be coming up this Friday, and Friday always comes fast. So put in your votes. And any sponsors out there, put the sponsors in our email, which will be in our link in the description below, as well as on our About page. Exactly. And I, Kay and I, the Rose and Gold Show is sponsored by none other than Playboy International. In the Playboy penthouse right now, keep playing players. But we're not going to turn down any money. That's right. These are all of our hot topics, but we'll see you in the next episode. We're out.